Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball video game news here on the channel, guys, with potential, potential uh, Tenkaichi for reveals that could be happening, okay? Not confirmed or anything. Uh, as always, I've been doing these speculation videos uh, over the course of the past couple of months just because we haven't had anything new in regards to uh, Tenkaichi, but as you guys know, summer is here. It's officially June 1st, and in about seven days from now, it is going to officially kick off the summer video game reveals, okay? We did recently have a PlayStation game reveal, which I was hoping that they would have maybe something in regards to that new uh, jump Ultimax game or whatever. Again, we have no idea if that's real or not. It's just kind of like a leak that's been going on for a while now. So it could very much be real just because the 55th anniversary for uh, Shonen Jump, uh, weekly Shonen Jump, is actually going to be, I believe, next year. So who knows? We might get a trailer. We might not. I feel like a new jump collab game uh, will happen. Okay. Um, I, I think that would make the most sense. Um, if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not a big deal, right? Uh, but let's talk about Tenkaichi. That's why you guys are here. Just because, again, where is the information? Uh, I'm, I'm, I want them to cook. Don't get me wrong. I don't want them to rush anything out. But um, let's talk about what's going down in terms of uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as well, okay? So Kakarot and Tenkaichi 4 are, I believe, the only two games that are going to be getting some new, you know, new reveals, okay, right? Uh, we got to see what's going on with, obviously, Tenkaichi 4, if there's going to be a new trailer or anything, and then where is this DLC? The fifth DLC, the th 23rd uh, Tenkaichi Budokai, I don't know what's going on with it. They haven't had anything. Um, we'll probably get, if no trailer, you know, uh, within the next couple of, like, within the next week, uh, because, like I said, Summer Game Fest is starting. I don't know when they're going to be dropping anything. We'll get probably V-Jump mid this month. It could be releasing this month. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm very excited to try this out. I'm just waiting for it, right? So this is what was tweeted out by Gamescom. If you guys don't know, Gamescom is really, really big for Bandai Namco. Usually, uh, they've had some big reveals. Uh, I'll show you an example. They had Kakarot trailer. Um, I think it was the Cell Saga. They revealed stuff there. Okay, so honestly... Who knows? Depending on whenever Tenkaichi 4 drops or whatever, we could get a reveal this month and then Gamescom in August because that's when it's starting. So, uh, yeah, August 23rd to the 27th will be uh, Bandai Namco's showcase. Now, this is actually really big, and this kind of makes me feel like I'm a little bit more convinced, and hopefully this convinces y'all that there could be a higher possibility of Tenkaichi 4 or any other Dragon Ball reveal uh, would be here because it says... They already told us that we can expect their biggest lineup in years and even might have an extra surprise or two for you in stock. So if, for example, that Jump Stars game doesn't get revealed at, uh, I almost said E3, because Summer Game Fest is basically E3. If it doesn't get revealed at Summer Game Fest, Gamescom could be big, okay? Because it says an extra surprise or two for you in stock, okay? Like, I'm not trying to get your hopes up. I mean, that's not me, all right? That's not me. They said it. Gamescom said it, okay? And this is straight from Bandai Namco Europe, right? Because I believe uh, Gamescom is in Europe, if I recall correctly. So, uh, Gamescom is a huge event. Like I said, Dragon Ball games have had a home there several times in terms of big reveals. Uh, Kakarot, DLC, everything, okay? Even Xenoverse 2 got some reveals over there, too. Like, they, they get, like, trailers and things, and it's it's sick, okay? Uh, Tokyo Game Show is another one that I've mentioned in the past, but this is your confirmation that they're gonna have their biggest lineup in years in regards to Bandai Namco, okay? Like, what, what are their biggest games? Naruto, Dragon Ball, collab game, in terms of like an anime collab game, okay? Those are the most popular, those are what sell the most. Unfortunately, no, no hate to One Piece or Black Clover or My Hero, those don't really go super well in terms of popularity. They're popular, people will buy it, but it does not reach the numbers that the Naruto Storm game reaches, the Dragon Ball video games reaches, uh, and like I said, the anime collab game, uh, like Jump Force and the other, what is it, Jump Stars, J Stars uh, Versus or whatever, those games sold pretty well, okay? So if there's a Tenkaichi 4 or even new DLC getting revealed, um, it's, it's, it's gotta be at this event, okay? But again, it's not a confirmation. It's all speculation. But I I'm just saying, them putting this info out here is huge. Okay, biggest lineup. 
in years, okay? They're not just talking about of this year in general. They're saying in years, like in the most recent years, like that screams 10 kh 4 because that was the biggest Dragon Ball reveal that we've gotten in a very long time, probably since Kakra, okay? Which was, that was three years ago, or actually four years ago, if I recall correctly. So um, Bandai Namco will be, as you can see, at Summer Game Fest. That's going to be a 2023 partner. So just know big reveals could be here as well, okay? Because Summer Game Fest, Tokyo Game Show, uh, and Gamescom are like the Bandai Namco good stuff, okay? PlayStation reveals, they had what? Uh, Naruto Storm connections, and that was really it, okay? So you could always... You, you, not always, but you could expect, you know, a reveal there for a Bandai Namco game, but it's not, it's not, a it, PlayStation showcase that they do is mainly for PlayStation games, okay? Which makes sense, right? Which it was good. I thought it was really good. So, uh, Summer Game Fest, like I said, starts in about seven days from now by the time this goes up, because like I said, June, we're in June now, okay? Which is awesome, man. June is always exciting. Probably best month for me and in my opinion just because like you know summer is here i'm sure you guys are all out of school and stuff um also congratulations to anybody that recently graduated uh you know good shit really <laughs> really for real so june 11th will be the xbox game showcase okay xbox game showcase occasionally they'll you know have them throughout the year occasionally but mainly it looks like they're the only main uh like core uh company okay out of the big three nintendo sony and uh microsoft uh they're the only one that seems to be still wanting to do like the e3 xbox press conference sort of thing which is great so june 11th i'm just saying okay kakarot had a big trailer reveal there jump force had its biggest debut one of the biggest debuts that nobody was expecting okay jump force was there um, I can't remember if Xenoverse was. I don't think it was. I th Xenoverse got revealed in May of 2016, so that wasn't there. But Fighters did get its debut, okay? It got a leak like a month or two before that, but no trailer or anything. It was just like a screenshot, like one single shot. But yeah, it got its official trailer there as well. So uh, Xbox Showcase usually will have big game reveals, but again, that was at E3, okay? Summer Game Fest, even though it's kind of like e3 everything a lot has changed since you know the the pandemic and stuff okay so yeah that's there too and of course like you know ubisoft and all this shit if you care about that um, i'm actually really excited for this just just the 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 feeling that you get okay it's still there it still feels like an e3 just like big game reveals chilling watching it you know I, I i love having this on in the background if i'm like you know doing exercise or something like that it's it's great okay it's great you just hear and listen to all the new game reveals you know people getting hyped it's sick man it's sick so that's what i really wanted to talk about um you know obviously tenkaichi 4 is the most anticipated dragon ball game or just the yeah it's a, it's the most anticipated dragon ball game this year okay it's the most it's it's a, it's upcoming it's the one that got the biggest reveal and uh, obviously there's no other dragon ball game coming out but i'm saying in regards to future updates and content Tenkaichi 4 is officially the game that everybody's looking out for, and we are hungry. We are thirsty. There was some dude in my comment section that literally that literally kept telling me to drop a trailer. <laughs> and I know why, because, you know, I clickbait a shit ton, but, uh, you know, it, it's just funny because they think that, like, I have a trailer ready. Some people actually genuinely think that I'll have, like, a trailer ready. The dude could have been trolling too, right? But, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was hilarious as shit. Um, when a trailer drops, it drops, and I'll be sure to re-upload it for y'all. But I don't make them, okay? I, I don't control when they come in out. I, I don't I don't know why I have to say that. I'm sure a majority of y'all know that. But there are some younger, younger people in the audience, you know, that think that content creators have some connection with these companies or whatever. I can assure you, we don't. Um, like I said, we, we are normal fans just like y'all. We have no idea what to expect or anything like that. We're, we don't have insider info or anything like that. Anytime you guys see me upload a video, 
uh, that's like speculation based or whatever. There's there's no teasers. There's no insider info. I promise you that. If there is, obviously, I wouldn't be able to make a video about it. Okay. If there was ever some kind of info where there was like a leak or something like that, I wouldn't be able to disclose it because I'd be under you know a contract and shit. Okay. But I'm telling you right now, there's nothing confirmed. This is all speculation. I'm just going off of you know logic. Okay. Logically speaking. Gamescom saying this biggest lineup in years for Bandai Namco. I'll leave it up to you guys to, to you know, think about that. Like I said, comment Tenkaichi 4, okay, or BT4. That's all you have to comment, okay, to show that you are hyped. Okay, you could even do a hashtag. I don't care, all right? Show that you're hyped for this and you really want to see some Tenkaichi 4 shit because I know everybody wants it. Everybody. I don't know a single Dragon Ball fan that is not excited for a new Tenkaichi game. If you're not excited for this game, then that means you never played it, okay? Play it, you will get hyped, all right? This is one of the best, most popular Dragon Ball game series of all time. It's gonna be massive. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, ring my notification bell, and um, by the way, y'all like the new Senku shirt that I got? <laughs> all right, peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>